A VPN or virtual private network is a really handy piece of software that people use for a number of different reasons. Two of the most popular ones would include unlocking streaming services like Netflix and Prime Video in order to access more content, or maybe the country you live in is blocking certain websites, so using a VPN can help to bypass that. Or if you just hate the idea of your internet service provider seeing what you're doing online, a VPN can help hide that. Now most people end up using their VPN through the dedicated app or the downloadable software for their computer or PC. But there's some problems with this. You have to log in constantly and remember to log in. There's a higher chance of it disconnecting from the server. And this leads to the VPN not fully doing its job. Well, what is the solution to this? You can actually connect your VPN directly to your router. So every device that is running to it is connected to the server that you want. This leads to better overall performance. And if you're trying to unlock streaming services, I find this leads to a way more consistent result since some services are getting really good at being able to recognize VPN. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to connect your VPN directly to your router in just a few minutes. I make weekly videos helping people like you save money on streaming services and learning how to optimize their devices. If you enjoy this kind of content, give the video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button right down below. There's two things you're gonna need to buy a compatible router, which you may already have, and a VPN service. Let's start with number one. The VPN service I'm using is IPVanish, but any of the biggest VPN services will have an option to connect to a router. Now, IPVanish has been a sponsor of the channel for over a year now and has very consistent speeds and a ton of servers to choose from. But if you already have something like Express or Nord, you can definitely go with that as well. If you still need to purchase your VPN, I have the link down below in the description. It'll give you 82% off. It's sometimes a little bit lower. It depends on what deal they have going on. Pick your plan either monthly, yearly, or two years, and then just fill out the account information. And if you don't like it, you can cancel it and get all of your money back within 30 days of your purchase. Now, once you have that, go to web browser, go to IP Vanish, and log in with your username and password. And we're gonna leave that there until we have our router connected. Now, the router I'm using today is the TP-Link BE9300 Archer. This thing is a beast delivering super fast ethernet and Wi-Fi speeds but most importantly it is VPN compatible and they make it really easy to add one to your network depending on what router you get just go through the simple setup process plug it in connect an ethernet cord from your original internet providers modem to the router the TP link just connects using the tether app create a username, follow the on-screen prompts, and just like that, you'll be set up. It only takes a few minutes. Now, depending on what router you get, for the next step, we're gonna have to log in using our browser. If you look on the bottom of your router, you probably have some sort of login information with a web page you can go to. So take a screenshot of that with your phone, and let's head over to my PC. So I'm gonna start off on IP Vanish's website. You might be on ExpressVPN or Nord. It's gonna be very similar. So let's go to my account. Now on the left-hand side, I'm on the VPN tab under service management. Again, this is gonna be very similar to every service. And when I scroll down under VPN configuration, you're gonna see WireGuard or All OS Open VPN on the right-hand side. Today, we're gonna to do All OS VPN. Click on that. That's gonna bring you to this long page. What these are are individual servers, everything from Canada to Germany to whatever, hundreds and hundreds of servers. And you can scroll through this and select any of them. So I'm gonna select Amsterdam. Now you can download the whole folder if you want. I just like to do one or two that I want. So you click on it. That's going to download it directly on your PC. Now, the last thing you're gonna to want to download is all the way at the top here, and you're gonna see the .ipvanish.com CRT. Make sure you download that as well. That's all you need, those two things. If you want more servers, feel free to download them. Now, you're gonna to wanna to go to your router's website login. You can also use the default page, which is usually 192.168.0.1. On the bottom of your router, there should be one available there. You can see here, this brings me to the TP-Link login. I am also already connected to my internet, by the way. Now you can use the local password, or I like to use my TP-Link ID that you can find at the bottom. And now just type it in. Now from the top here, you're gonna wanna find the advanced section. This again is for TP-Link. I believe for Asus, there is just a VPN section right on the menu already. If you find VPN, go there. We're gonna click on advanced and scroll down until you find VPN client. That's right here. 
and you're gonna have to enable it using this check. Now you can see I already have one server set up, so let me delete these. On the server list, click Add right here. Now the first thing we're gonna have to change is whether we want WireGuard, OpenVPN, PPTP, or L2TP. Uh, we're OpenVPN because that is the, the configure file that we downloaded. You're gonna click open VPN. Now create a description. Ours was Amsterdam, so I'll put Amsterdam right here. Now, here's the next part. You're gonna to want to put in your IP Vanish or VPN's login. So this is where I'm putting in my IP Vanish username and password, just like I would if I'm logging into their site. So it is under this email for me. And then go ahead and type in the password. Now you wanna click on browse right here for the import.openVPN file, and then find that file that we added into our desktop. So I here I am with my file. You can see right here, it's the IP Vanish Amsterdam file. We're gonna click on that right here and press open. Now the last thing we have to do is check this import the CA file or edit the open file manually. Click on that. We're gonna to wanna to go browse right here and we're gonna to wanna to select our IP Vanish certificate right here. Click on that. So that just certifies everything and then press save. So now, what you're gonna see is your VPN is listed right here under server list. So at any point, and you can add up to six servers here, you can press enable, enable it right here, and that will connect the VPN to your internet connection. Now there's one more thing we have to do. Go to device list right here, click on it, and you will see all the devices. So whatever device you wanna to connect to with the VPN server, click on it, press okay, and that's it. You're now connected to that server. Now let's double check it. Let's make sure we're in Amsterdam. So sometimes you do have to close your browser and reopen it so any cache data gets reset. So let's start by checking our IP address. There we go, NordVPN has one. And right there, North Holland, Amsterdam country. Okay, that's one thing. Let's check up our location. Oh, we're in the Netherlands. Wow, okay. But let's do the real test, streaming service. Service. And let's scroll down and what are we gonna find here? European TV shows, something we don't get in Canada and top 10 movies in Netherlands. So it's that easy to connect and toggle between it. Now, when we want to switch it off, go back to your PC, go to VPN client, and you can easily enable it, turn it off just like this. Now we go to IP address checker and there we go. Although I blurred out the rest of the personal information. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button right down below. I'll see you in the next one.